Well, day two of fishing with Craig, and I cooked a big breakfast yesterday, but today I'm way too tired. I'm just gonna have a hot pocket. Six in the morning, we're gonna go out to the Isla Morada Humps and do some deep dropping. Hopefully we can find some Mai, maybe get some tuna too. That would make me happy. Ooh, look who it is. It's my sweetheart. There's a bunch of mullet out back. Man, I hate leaves. You see this leaf? Look at this stain it makes. Jeez. Ah, uh, yeah. The alligator clips for the deep drop rod. I accidentally left them on my boat. I'll see you another day. But I got plans with another boat today. <laughs> Back at the Tom Thumb. This is like an exact repeat of yesterday. Pick up some beer and we'll be on our way. Driving north again on the way to Craig's house to fish with Craig and Lloyd. Me on top of the boat holding a Modelo with the sunrise. And since that was yesterday, I'm doing exactly the same thing again. I thought, why not take exactly the same picture holding a Modelo? But I'm going to be holding a much bigger Modelo this time. <laughs> oh man, my pants are dirty. Your destination has been reached. This is literally just like yesterday. It's the Tanacom 1000 electric reel. I'm gonna use that for deep dropping today. TLD 25, 30 pound mono for trolling. And then my spin fisher um, for pitching live baits if we get some Maya around the boat. That's a lot of pilchards in there. Beer time. Yeah, well, once you get a boat running, more than deserved.
swim free little little pilchard buddy man i i was just on something i just i just thing. had something there i got broke off too looks like the kingfish are here where's the wire got some wire I think I'm on. I think I got something. Oh, houndfish. Oh, and he got off. Oh, I'm on something again. Oh, popped off. That was one at Hawker Ridge? No, I got, a, I got about a foot and a half of wire on here now to a J hook. In the bucket with you, boy. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> In yellow tail. On the wire. He might be, dude. If he is, I'm. If he is, I'm taking him home, dude. I'll fry him whole. But if he. Yellow tails are measured to the tips of the tail, not to the fork. And, and if you lay them across the top of the five gallon bucket, it's 12 inches. So we just lay them from across the entire five gallon bucket. And if the, uh, if the points of the tail cross, he's legal. Well, he looks pretty legal. He's good. That's how they measure him. We're going to catch so many other ones. So adios. Right, let's see if I can get one of these kingfish to uh, snap into my trap. They're going crazy down there. Oh, there's a big one right there. Oh, there's a nice one right behind the boat. Eat it! I'll get them. I was just on something there. Got some big old teeth marks on here. Oh yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Good. There we go. No, he took me into the rocks. That could have been a grouper. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out. Yeah, he's out. He's out of the rocks. <laughs> Stubborn fish, whatever it is. All right, he's coming. He's coming up. <laughs> no! Oh, no! No! Yeah. No! No. Dirty king. Uh, uh, no. Dude, all my line is shaved. I think that was a mutton. Wow. Oh, yeah, wasn't it? It's uh, on a vertical jig. Oh, it but I was bouncing it along the bottom. Fuck. All right, I'm back in action. You got a wire on there? Yeah. Woo! A little tiny white like cow. That's all you need. That's all you need. You want me to get the gaff ready? Where's that sucker? Light drag. I'll show you, I got like three inches of wire. 
and a num a size number four. Yeah, well, right. Schwack! <laughs> if he comes on this side, I'll get him here. Alright. If he goes on that side, you get him. That sounds good. He's on your side. It's always a little terrifying when they're running. Pretty nice king fish. It's nice and light. It's a light one. You got him. You can wear that pump out. Back to you. Oh yeah. Zero macro. Huge zero. Oh, shit. <laughs> Massive zero. All right. I need some pliers. Box them in the head. All right. Grab them by the tail and box here's them in the, the tail. Here's the pliers. Grab them right by the tail and I mean whack them. I'm going to pull this gap out. We got to bleed them out, right? Too? Go ahead. No. Oh, no. Beat them in the head a couple times. <laughs> Dude, that's it. That stuff. We ice him down cold. It is the, the sashimi is incredible. Yeah, damn it! I forgot to bring the soy sauce. Sashimi water. Uh... Is that bad boy coming up? Another one. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Like come on. Oh yeah. Cool. Get him? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> the Craig Hammer. Getting murdered by a pair of aluminum flyers. Okay, well, a couple of those live stay in the, with these pilchers. One or two if you want to try. These are bluebacks, man. They're premium belly, too. Are you going to this mangrove snapper got in this belt? No, I have no idea. Damn. That didn't take long. I'm figuring it out. Stick your hand in here. Can you grab my tail? <laughs> I see him down there. That's a big one. I think that one might be bigger than the, the last one. They're, they're as big as they get, man. Ah, bad 
it anyways. Cool. Man, they're studs. I added another two or three inches of wire, man. They don't like it. I think I got a yellow tail. Hey. Yeah. Look who showed up to the party. Luckily we brought that battery, man. Oh yeah, we'd be screwed. All right, this guy's going in the icebox. Oh yeah. He's good. Damn, that sucks. Oh. Yo, Craig. This is gonna catch the big one. Nice, man. <laughs> like half of it. That's a big tail, man. Whew, chomped. Oh yeah. There you go. Throw some more for me. Got something on there. There you go. That's a flag! Oh, need a hand with him? They want your white one, they don't want... Oh, white. White, white's my go-to for tails. A lot of guys use chartreuse and swear by it, but... I can... Wow, that's a donkey yellow tail. Jesus. Wait, grab my phone there and take a picture. Another flag coming up. Holy flagaroni. <laughs> Woo! Woo! He 
you might have got grabbed. Oh. You get charged. Oh man. That's another flag. Fatty. All right, that's it. I want one of your white ones, dude. <laughs> What is that? I hope not a remora. Oh. Yeah, the people do eat them. Oh, there he goes. Oh, ho, ho. You. Are you locking it up on him? Giving him all I got. Keep him from wrecking me. He's not gonna wreck you, man. The wreck's up ahead. He's trying to go there. Get a gas. Alright. Clear this rod out first. Alright. It's a fat button, dude. Yeah, I'm that's what I'm thinking too. I see color. Oh. That's either a kingfish or a Barracuda. Oh man. <laughs> what? That's a fatty. Damn, man, I thought that was a mutton. On the mono. Bahamians. Oh, here it comes. Be gentle with them. broke off. Yeah. Oh. I need another one of those white hooks. Hey, if you chuck that sucker out on a hook, <laughs> you'll get a big old barracuda. 
I'm gonna finesse this one. Yeah, I just don't want a shark to eat it. Oh no! I think a barracuda might have got it. <laughs> it's bait, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is, it's coming on the boat. <laughs> Does yours feel like a yellowtail? Mine feels like a train. Hopefully you got a cooter. Uh, really something tells me I do. I hope so. Oh, I would take a cobia. What do you got there? Oh, another, another flag, dude, another flag. Man. Watch mine just be a small yellowtail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's coming. It's swimming. You see it? Yeah. Barracuda? Wait, it got real loose all of a sudden. Oh, I think it. No, it's still on there. Let him do his thing. It might be something real good. You never know. Yep. Might be a cobia or something crazy. All right, he's coming back. You see color? Yeah. It's on the surface. It's on the surface. Just keep a lot of tension. You're good right there. No, I'm. Man, the flying's gonna start taking her back. Or is it this way? Or is it gonna chase it? Alright, I'll take her off. I'll get it, man. Here you go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, just nice and easy. Wear them out now. Wear them out. Nothing horsey. Steady pressure, steady, steady pressure. Yeah. I just want to at least know what it is. <laughs> or else I'm going to have nightmares. Alright, it's coming. Came out. You suck. Hey, hey, come on. That stings. Who said that? No. No. Oh yeah. There we go. Get him. There we go. That feels like a yellow tail. Like a whip him. <laughs> wow. yeah. 
Oh yeah, he's in. Dude, as soon as I took a sip of that rum runner, <laughs> it was game on. You want another sip? Yeah. I th Wait, let me get a bait in the water and then I'll take another Celebratory sip. Celebratory <laughs> sip. Oh, we got your, got your back bit off there, eh? I ju just happened to. Man. Yeah, that's a nice boat. Yeah. Yep, that's yellowtail, all right. Flagger. Holy smokes, man! <laughs> <laughs> These things are monsters. This is not happen every day. Guys, gotta get at least two more. <laughs> He's way bigger than my foot. Ready? Yeah. Gosh. Hang on, that's good. That's good. Don't take his head right off and leave it on. <laughs> Here's, your picture. Here's your hook, man. Well, that's one way to get your hook back. There we go. Oh! Wait. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh. I have another one on. Uh, what do we have here? Is it a pig? Oh. Oh. Shark. That was a real big one. Another one before dark. Hold them off, man. Yeah, let's get a shot of them. Woohoo! Peace! Goodness. It's going for the wreck. <laughs> Slimy bastard. I'm running the bilge in, jumping in the water. Hell yeah. <laughs> bilge jump. <laughs> That's leaving a nice cloud in the water. <laughs> you lose it? Oh. This is the fatty boobalati right here. Dude, they're all gonna fit. Oh, a sack of them from on the deck up front. I can stagger them, I guess. Oh, yeah. What an angle.
look at that bad boy right there. Gotta thank the guys over at Sea Fear for hooking me up with some of these shirts. Now I can look way cooler when I fillet fish. I'm gonna fillet him the quickest way possible. I have a flight in three hours and I haven't packed yet. So, I best get on to it then. Oh, you know what? That's right. Someone said put a wet paper towel under the cutting board. There we go. I'm going to put this right there. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Now we're talking. You know what? I'm just going to do them like this. Yeah, cut right above the ribs. Flip the fillet back. There's one half right there. Time to do the other side. Right, and there we have it. Yeah, I'm gonna cut these into like strips. That way I can cut the bloodline out too. So just cut them right down the middle where you see this red line here. sharper knife <laughs> but yeah there it is cut a little more out of there and there now you got four nice pieces ready for some frying well two of these I'm gonna cover in just some good old cornmeal Pretty nice and basic. And then the other two, I wanted to go a little fancier. I'm gonna use this spicy fish and chicken mix, lefties. Now this stuff is like super spicy, so I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on there. Cause it really is like insanely 
So, and then top it off with some original Publix breadcrumbs. Make sure it's nice and mixed up. All surfaces are covered. Spaghetti squash in the microwave. And whoa! Look who else showed up to the party. A nice steak with some fresh garlic. So I'm starting to look like a real meal here. Got some oil getting hot. Preheat the oven because we're gonna stick the steak in the oven after we sear it for maybe one or two minutes on each side. Whew. Time to flip these guys. Fish is ready. Spaghetti squash is cooling down. That steak is just about done. Well there you have it. Steak and garlic, steak sauce, spaghetti squash with salt and pepper on it. Yellowtail, I got a spicy one, spicy with breadcrumbs. Let's see what it tastes like. That's extremely delicious. It's actually, it could be a lot more spicy. I should have used more of that spice. And this is the, just the cornmeal one, which I know is gonna be good. Mm-hmm. Could maybe use a little bit of salt. But overall, real good. I'm gonna chow down real fast. I got a flight to catch. Peace, everybody.